Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SAS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. Now for any implementation, users and role setup is very important. So in this video, we will create users of different roles. We will create four users, ITIL user, service desk user, self-service user, ITIL manager. So let's create these users in the instance. This is my personal developer instance. We will perform all the configurations and developments in this instance for this mock training. So let's go to users module in this instance. So you have to type users in application navigator you will find users module under system security and you will also find under user administration you can click any of any one of them when you click on that it shows you the list of users available in your instance now how we create a user in order to create a user you can click on this new button when you click on this new button it will open up the new form for user record so here we have new form of user. Now you can provide the user ID. So we will start with and we will give the name as mock.itil because we have to create the itil user first. So we will start with mock.itil and we will give first name as mock and last name as itil. And if you want to give the title, you can also give that. So let's say I will uh, make it as mock itil. And then here, uh, I will not fill email, uh, maybe not not, in the, not even the department. I think it should be good. So for now, I will just fill these details and I can just click on save. So our first user is created. That is the idle user. Next one is service desk. So I will just mention here service desk, mock.service desk. And here I can mention service desk and even here I can mention service desk so this is our second user and I can just click on insert and stay if I click on this it will create this user as well then we will create third user that is self-service so we will type self service and even here we can just mention like this self-service and even here I can mention self-service that's it and I can do insert and stay so we have created third user now we will create fourth user that is idle manager so in that case I will go here I will type idle I will put manager and even here I will put let's say I will do idle manager in caps and even here I can just mention mock idle manager so this is our fourth user so I will click on insert and stay now why I'm doing this because I want to copy I don't want to update the same record I have to create a new record so that's the reason I'm just uh, uh, putting these data and then I'm just clicking on insert and stay and I will show you that these four records will be created so if I click on insert and stay this will create this user and now I can go to users module again and I will show you these four users in the list of users table so if I click here again yep so we have here and if I sort it by updated so you will see yep we can see we have four users idle manager self service service desk mock idle so now you have created all those four users so user setup is completed but if i talk about in your actual instance 
in your actual instance, you might get this user's data from other external sources. It could be via integrations or some other transformation. So you have to import that data into ServiceNow. A lot of organizations, they import the data maybe from HR systems or any other systems where you basically keep all the employees data. You have to remember one thing that user ID is something very unique because it has to be unique, which is also used to log into ServiceNow. And another important piece is that, that when you fetch the data from external systems, you just you don't just update these fields like first name, last name, or title. You also update other fields like email, uh, phone number, uh, department, and, and even more details if you have any. Uh, so that's something you can definitely update it from external system. Now, once you are done with creation of the user, another piece is because user setup is completed, but user setup will be called 100% completed when you actually assign the roles because that is really important. So in that case, we, we have created four users and important point is that they should have right role. So as of now, we have just created it, but they don't have any role. So they are just like a simple user, like a self-service user. In order to give them the right access, you have to add the roles. So for that, what I can do, I can just quickly go to mock idle first. And in order to provide access to this user, I can quickly do, go to the related list and I will click on edit and I will add idle role. So here I will just mention I will just search for that ITIL role. So I will mention ITIL and I will click on save. So this user will have ITIL access and it will also inherit other roles as well, which are basically inherited in ITIL uh, role. So that's added in this particular user. I will go to the users again. And then I also want to add an ITIL manager. So I will open ITIL manager and I will give that role to this user as well. And basically this is how you add role to a user. But you have to remember one important point that if I talk about the best practice, you should not add role directly to a user. As per the standard practice from ServiceNow, you should always add a role to a group and that group should have those users. So if I, as I mentioned that, as per the standard best practice, you should always add roles to the groups, not users directly. But I, I'm just showing you that how exactly you can provide the access. That's the reason I'm just adding these roles directly to the users. So we have added idle role to idle manager, idle. Uh, we will not add any role to mock self-service. That's a self-service role, uh, self-service user. And then here we have service desk. Service desk will definitely have idle role as well. So maybe you can add uh, this role as well to this particular user. And I will go here. So maybe I will add idle role to this user as well, service desk. But self-service, I did not, because self-service is just like an end user who should not have any other access. Uh, so we will just keep it limited. So I will not add any kind of role uh, to our self-service user. So that's how you create users and you basically add roles to different users in the system. And as I mentioned, lot of data, actual data is basically pulled from external systems and most of the organizations, but it's totally up to you how you manage the user's data in your organization. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.